Today we have on test the brand new Skoda Scala facelift 2024. I hope you will hear me well today because I forget the microphones home and inside it's fine but outside it's a little bit windy today so I hope we'll be okay. I will try to also work a little bit in editing to make it sound good. Skoda Scala 2024 facelift in this video full review interior exterior I will have a separate video where I did the test drive so if you want to see the feedback on the road check out that video it will be really interesting. Also very important if you want to see the car if you want to test drive the car if you want to buy the car check out Amag in Bern if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland definitely check them out they are super nice and they will help you with every single problem the version that I have with me is the selection version right here and it comes with a one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line 115 horsepower we will talk about that a little bit later when it comes to color because I know maybe some of you ask me about it's the brilliant silver metallic the name of the color and the seats are those uh, fabric material seats we will talk a little bit later about them starting price of this selection version 32,570 francs but with all this option including the color 830 francs with all the options down here that we will talk in a second the price will go up to 36,420 francs here at Amag in Bern so in Switzerland in some other country the price might be for sure better because in Switzerland usually the price are much higher now here are all the options that come standard on this version and we will talk about them and I will show you as we go in the video but those are options that you have to pay extra for example you have here the variable floor 190 francs and I will show you when we go in the trunk you have the image package you have the navigation 1550 and you have also the winter premium package 750 francs winter premium package definitely deserve to take it because heated windshield heated uh, steering wheel heated seat so i will show you a little bit later the clever bonus is great because you have a bonus of 1500 discount 1500 francs assistant driver package i definitely recommend you to get it 760 because you have all that autopilot functions and convenient pack 870 we will talk about that in a second as well now when it comes to technical data the car weight 1,273 kilograms and the estimated consumption 5.4 liters and the CO2 emission 122 grams it's in C class efficient class as I said before one liter three cylinders in line combined with a seven speed automatic transmission DSG it's a front wheel drive system the maximum power 115 horsepower 200 newton meters the top speed of the car 202 km per hour and 0 to 100 in 10.1 seconds when it comes to trunk space 467 liter I will show you later Skoda it's well know for the space so it's it's fantastic 467 liters and if you fall down the seats completely it will go up to 1410 liters just insane fuel tank capacity 50 liters the turning circle 10.2 meters it comes also with ventilated brake disc on the front and normal brake disc on the rear now those are the most important technical data about the car i will give you more as we go in the video so let's start the review exterior interior and then we will take the conclusion this is the key pretty simple key the same as on the previous model pretty light key you saw it on many Volkswagen cars uh, before but you can do it the key lock and unlock the car very simple from the button it comes also with keyless entry so you don't have to always use it but this button for the trunk is kind of useless here it's just unlock the trunk but it it will not open it because it doesn't have automatic lift gate in general this is what you can do with the key i'm not sure if you hold the unlock button if it will open the windows yes it's open also the all four windows and if you lock it and hold it again it will kind of close it completely so this is what you can do with the key from my point of view i think it's much more mature much more attractive and modern design this facelift definitely make the car look better it has a little bit more rounded shape and also kind of improved aerodynamic and also improved the look of the car if before you know Skoda cars was always like square cars this time they tried to make it a little bit rounder and 
a little bit nicer design so yeah from my point of view i definitely think it looks much much better and you can see even in this brilliant gray color i think it fits quite nice the car look at the front of the car look at those led lights headlights plus the turning signal plus the front end and the grill look much more modern even though it's kind of the same design and same grill uh, they still improve a little bit the bumpers the front grill the headlights and also the tail lights and from my point of view it's definitely definitely a more attractive car uh, and this facelift really improve it let's say with around 10 percent it looks definitely better the back end also pretty similar but you can see the bumper the tail lights are different and also pretty much nicer rounder shape so what do you think about the exterior and also in this gray co color it looks really nice i didn't expect that i think it's for the first time when i said that the skoda car look good on gray color i really like it and look at this line here man it's so aggressive this is new here look how nice it looks oh i love that and this you cannot see it on a dark color so only on a bright color so you can see that look at this from this angle it looks so sexy oh i love that also the line classic line here some lines up here for the design i like that even the roof spoiler has a little bit of lip here up it goes up a little bit i don't know if you can see it on the camera but it looks so sexy a little bit of glossy here the antenna is glossy plastic it looks fine then you have these tinted windows on the rear that continuing all the way on the back down here with the skoda writing then you have scala also in chrome it looks so cool i like this window so continuing down here it looks so so nice uh, it's so unique it looks definitely definitely good tinted windows on the side as well around the windows you have this rubber matte rubber that goes across the car here on the right side you have the tank and also the tank door feel good quality and you have also this clever thing in the winter very useful to take out your snow uh, then you have the handles that's classic kind of the same as you have it also on previous model the quality of the doors relatively the same also here pretty good they sound really good relatively same also you have the mirror very nice design kind of sharp edges and small mirrors uh, they are good for aerodynamic but also visibility it's pretty good uh, you have also the turning signal usually the blind spot technology is here but on this model we don't have it here on the windshield you have some camera and sensors there for reading the traffic speed limits lane assist all that safety features and sensors for rain and light down here i like very much that they put this plastic to protect this area this wing from rust and stones and all that stuff so this is very helpful otherwise down here on the down skirt you, you have just the body of the car so you don't have any plastic or something like that at least not on this version the rims 16 inch rims you can see right here pretty much gummy that's very useful uh, over the bumps i notice when i drive the car that it's pretty comfortable over the bumps you have those hollowy rims that looks quite simple and i think it fit nice uh, with the color of the car the gray with those rims alloy wheels in this silver look so nice ventilated brake discs in the front normal brake discs on the rear so no drum brakes or stuff like that so yeah pretty nice if we go from here from the front end look at the hood some nice lines on the hood quite aggressive it looks really mean and i, I like it now you have the skoda logo in the middle chrome around this new grill then you have some piano black in the middle it looks so so nice the grill here you have the rudder for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features and down here you have a nice lip extended a little bit to improve the sporty look and then you have also the grill that allow the air to go inside there here we have some air intakes huge air intakes to improve the aerodynamic four parking sensors on the front led light fog lamps i really like those fog lamps a little bit higher you have led lights not matrix led light but simple led light for low beam and high beam and here is the turning signal that looks spectacular i really like the turning signal with this crystal design that skoda uses with so what do you think you like it i definitely like it i definitely like the car probably this is one of the most beautiful uh, skoda in terms of lines design wise i don't know i really like it from here you open it just like that those are the lights you turn it like that put it on auto and then the 
hazard lights are there man you notice that i almost forget to tell you the engine is on right now and it's crazy silent i like that and i notice that also when you drive it sometimes you barely barely hear it you can see the daytime running light running right now in this moment and they are so cute so cute from here you open it of course oh my god it's so heavy oh boy it's it's crazy heavy you have a little bit of rubber this is the engine one liter three cylinders this is the air filter the same array as always yep man but the hood it's so heavy you can save a little bit of uh, weight there and for the future will be super super useful man i forget to show you something in the back why i turn off the lights let me turn it on again check this out on the rear you have only led lights on the tail lights here right and you saw it on the side i think on i'm not sure on the most expensive man the, the back look look how nice it looks from here overall the back of the car looks so so sexy anyway this is led light but this is not led light this is normal halogen light and the reverse light is normal halogen light not sure if you can see it inside there uh, but the number plate light it's led light with a reverse camera i will show you a little bit later four sensors parking sensors on the back here is the fog lamp that it's led light this is great and here is the uh, bumper design that looks similar with the new superb look kind of similar no exhaust pipe it's just clean design nice with a little bit of gray down here really really nice you have a manual lift gate here pretty simple to open and you have so much space so skoda it's well known for a spacious practical car and i love that up here you have just this handle so you close the door like that you have also this protection that i will take it out in a second to show you how it looks and look at the trunk with this protection i love the fact that it's a flat floor you have these plastics here and i love ah this is extra by the way you pay for this 170 francs or something like that otherwise it will be something like that so yeah flat floor really really useful story space left side plenty of story space hooks here you have a normal light you have a hook here normal i mean yellow light bulb light then you have the triangle some hooks here on the right side so you don't have any 12 volt port but you have hooks everywhere that's useful down here under the floor you have another extra space story space and i like the fact that this one it really stays like that i mean you don't have to hold it and you win maybe let's say 15 centimeters here you can put also the triangle down here uh, and up here you have huge space you can put a spare tire or wherever you want to put down there you have huge huge space when it comes to space yeah skoda cars are super super spacious i want to take out this protection and then we will fall down the seats all right so this is the way it looks without that protection so this is the trunk this is how big it is it's it's, it's crazy big for the size of the car uh, you can fit in here so many so many items without any problem now if you want to fall down the seats you have to do it 60 40 you don't have the possibility to fall down the middle part but you can do it very simple you press this button push it forward and once you do that you have a completely flat floor and you can fit in here huge items it's almost 100 percent flat maybe 98 percent or something like that but you can see from this angle how much space you have here and even if you go on the side to open the doors huge entrance again here as well really big entrance on the door and then you can see from this angle as well how much space you have the entrance in the back down here this is the space you have still some storage space on the legs room even though you have that transmission tunnel that's relatively big in the middle you still have left some storage space there to put different items and also behind here a relatively good quality behind the seat here on the rear door you have two windows one fixed one can be fold down and you can fold it down completely that's that's super super useful it's not double glass but it's fine there are tinted windows down here you have this beautiful trim you don't know that it's soft or not until you don't touch it and also in the front it has the same trim but it's soft then you have some piano black you have this handle in chrome you have a speaker here speaker here you have some storage space to put different items super useful and pretty big storage space and here you have textile material this is super important where your arms are resting so i like that and this is the button for the windows the entrance it's big as i said before and once you go here you will see how much space you have i will go inside in a second to see how much space it is and to show you 
there are textile material seeds so those upholstery are made in textile material but it's a textile that it's pretty good quality you can see the stitches you can see this white a little bit brighter here in the middle you have isofix for child seats so you think you can install two child seats on the rear I'm not sure in the front and also in the front oh that's nice so you can have three child seats here you don't have any armrest so you don't have armrest in the middle but the seats have side support and they are also looking nice and they are super comfy behind the front seats you have tough material soft material some storage space down here big transmission tunnel you have also a hook here let me show you in the middle you have two USB-C super super useful and they are pretty powerful you can charge also your laptop and here you have uh, also two uh, vents that feels mm, okay they feel fine let me close the door yeah the doors the door sound is nice oh I like that sound handle hook white roof I like so much the white roof make the interior look much more brighter than the black one and it's nice the quality mm, is not the best but it's it's just fine now 173 centimeters I have like six six fingers and something over my head quality it's fine and I adjust the seats in my driving position before I go inside here and this is the space I mean in terms of space crazy space not only the trunk but also for passengers you have plenty plenty of space at least for me it's more than enough it stays a little bit higher the, the knees two finger maybe but super spacious the visibility it's very very good outside so nothing to complain you have another window there man it's 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 crazy practical the car uh super spacious and also in the back i like it if i go in the middle here let's see how it's in the middle oh it's a little bit higher i have only four fingers i can stretch my hand yes oh almost stretch man that's nice you have a lot of space here but down here it's a little bit stiffer and also on the back it's a little bit stiffer so that means for long trips will be not so comfy maybe short medium trips will be fine but long not so good up here LED light oh it's not LED it's just a bulb light two yellow lights but they are fine I was thinking it's LED it looks so cool anyway going in the front dashboard is fantastic it's the same dashboard that they use on the new uh, Škoda Kamik facelift uh, it's a beautiful design I love the two spoke steering wheel I love the new digital cockpit I like very much the design and the lines of the dashboard it looks modern it looks nice and I love the fact that they use a lot of physical buttons that we will talk in a second about them so yeah anyway let's go there in the front one big window from one piece that means good visibility up here you can see it's the same trim but this time it's soft material black glossy the same handle down here you have this textile material very cool the same as on the rear plenty of storage space in the front and here you have the speaker you have the buttons for the electric windows lock the windows electric adjustable mirrors heated mirrors you can see right here the entrance in the front is the same big relatively huge so you have more than enough space right here you can see the seats the same textile material seats and manual adjustment guys keep in mind that this has manual adjustments but the seats look super nice in terms of design i like the design i like the lines the way it looks also i like the fact that you have side support i like this bright material here on the side overall they are super comfy i sit on them they are quite nice and pretty big normal pedals a little bit higher you have some storage space here plus you have the classic lights controllers then you have the position of the LED lights and a little bit higher you have this bright material super textile nice material the same as you have it on the seats down here then you have the vents they feel okay not super smooth but uh, pretty fine and also up here on the dashboard soft material everywhere now let's go inside because you can hear me a little bit better without that microphone visibility outside is pretty good and also in the mirror it's pretty good you can see that car that's coming right now around the windows pretty pretty good visibility even in the back almost no blind spot there that's pretty good you can see one more time the seats in the back down here you have this armrest i love the armrest it's also in textile material but i love the fact that it's so smooth when you adjust it it feels so good quality when you pull it here you have some storage space you have a 12 volt port you have manual handbrake but also good quality here something that i wish to have on the car and it didn't have i wish to have electronic handbrake and auto hold function this is something that's missing and i wish to have on it 
and you have two cup holders you have some physical buttons mode it's for different driving modes if you press it you can change through three four driving modes echo normal sport and individual if you go to individual and change you can change the steering feeling you can individualize how you want it so that's super useful for those of you that want to individualize it uh, then here you have the parking sensors on and off and the start stop button on and off a little bit higher we have this airplane controller stalk so you can control your airplane sorry your car but it looks like the the one from airplane it still use a big stick maybe on the next version something like shift by wire transmission or something behind the steering wheel as Volkswagen uh, do it as well but until now for the moment we still have this stalk it's nice it's easy to use and it's just fine you have also drive and s mode if you go for example let me show you if you go all the way back you have drive and s and you move it from drive to s simple as that drive is for normal driving s is for sport mode if you want to change the gears manually you go right and then you go down and up to change the gears manually but you can change it also from those pedals manually behind the steering wheel so you have this possibility so that's a great add-on then you have some storage space for your phone not wireless charging just storage space not sure if you can get it as an option here you have two USB-C ports and a little bit higher one of my favorite part this climatic system that it is with physical buttons and easy to use and easy to control and choose different settings you have heated seats right here for you and a passenger you can go into the menu this is the menu of the climatic system from where you can uh, change different settings you have also air care here plus you have also the possibility to automatically turn on choose to that the car to choose for you to automatically turn on the heating on the windshield and the windshield it's heated completely not like in other cars only the uh, wipers and down there the wipers but completely if you can see really closely those little parallel kind of they're not kind of they are parallel but not straight lines yeah those are inside the windshield everywhere so they will hit the windshield instantly if it's ice on it it will be fantastic really useful stuff not many cars have in this class here you have the vents that feels fine button for hazard light lock the car here you have the glow box that's pretty big you can see and also you have a yellow light inside there textile material around here nice design i really like this design here and you have soft material everywhere up here some glossy piano you have also a speaker on a pillar another speaker there in the front manual adjustable steering wheel up down forward backward but very simple very good quality love the steering wheel it's a piece of art uh, and also very good quality as you touch it it's in leather and it's, it's super nice you have a very good visibility through the steering wheel uh, on the digital cockpit behind the steering wheel you have this controller for cruise control and all that autopilot functions very simple physical button also here to control uh, heated steering wheel from here and voice command and control the volume on the right side you can control with those uh, buttons the cruise control autopilot you can turn it on the travel assist and then you can also customize this beautiful digital cockpit that you can see so many look things around there so you can customize it in so many ways it becomes one of the best digital cockpit out there on the market from my point of view so from all the cars out there it's so much customizable I mean you can see in the middle so many things like telephone vehicle status uh, driving data and consumption on the last kilometers for example you can see uh, travel assist and information about autopilot you can see the navigation in the middle and that's not enough you can see also navigation all over the screen and you have so many information left and right you can also customize what you like to see left and right you can see even this sport view how cool is that or you can see it like that how nice is this guys it's really cool I mean I really really like digital cockpit great colors great brightness here you have also some piano black with chrome and but look at the quality it's so so good up here of course you have some vanity mirror without light but you have this handle you have microphones SOS button info button and then you have also these glasses support this is fantastic love it and then you have also the lights normal uh, yellow light and the mirror that has those black edges you can see it here in contrast but the visibility in the back it's, it's pretty pretty good anyway 
Now, uh, I want to turn off the thematic system, I want to adjust this and let's go to the multimedia system to talk a little bit about it. This is on the side here, both sides, you have some shortcut button that gets you directly to some different function, the home button gets you to home, this is the home screen and on the home screen guys, you can also customize the pages, what you like to see, the road signs, uh, if you want to see the navigation, if you want to see the driving data and so on, you can add it here vehicle status and look how cool it is and now you have it there and you can customize change it the way you want it so that's fantastic then you have radio volume all that stuff you have the menu here that gets you directly to the main menu of the car so from here you find all the settings of the car radio telephone navigation and navigation it's much better than what was before it's much more responsive even though it has a little bit of lag I notice on the new uh, Skoda Superb and Kodiak it works much faster with a new uh, multimedia but this one still have a little bit of lag but it has the same maps so that's good and also once you set the destination I like that it's it's loading very fast and that's really important and yeah I like it you have charging station uh, gas station all that stuff on the map here so you can find them very easy now go to menu again driving assistance systems you find all the safety feature here from where you can activate and deactivate adaptive cruise control front assist lane assist drowsiness monitoring speed alert and all that safety features going back to menu smart link you have the vehicle here with all the information and all the settings and consumption for the last kilometers you have also uh, the virtual cockpit from where you can customize it you have also the driving data and vehicle status if the car have any errors will appear here and also the tire pressure then you have also deeper settings with the traction control turn it on and off lights parking maneuvers wipers doors instrument cluster units you can change them from here and back to menu you have the sound system from here you can choose how you like to have it position volume and also more settings around there so super super many settings and the last page it's with air conditioning that you saw it before you can customize from here you have of course the settings the more important settings with time and date uh, language you can change it from here units and yeah you find all other settings and of course you have the legal the updates shop manual you have it here you don't have it anymore on the paper so that's important and also you have this shortcut car if you press this shortcut this car gets you directly to the car uh, shortcut and more important settings of the car uh, of course I wish this screen to be a little bit tilted to the driver but I guess it's just fine guys I think I cover almost everything I don't know if I miss something just write me down below ask me whatever question you have I'm a little bit in a rush I have to give the car in one hour and I still have to make one video so thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video if you want to see the car if you want to test drive the car if you want to buy the car if you're in Switzerland check out in Bern Amag Skoda Amag in Bern I will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are very nice they will help you with everything so definitely check them out from my point of view a great car in this class probably one of the best one of the best car in this class that you can definitely have to try and test drive and take into consideration if you are on the market for a car super practical I noticed that Skoda try to hit the premium stuff premium 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 because a lot of stuff here feel really really nice lovely car I would definitely be proud to drive this car on the street and I like it anyway I hope you enjoy it I hope you like the video don't forget to like share subscribe I will really appreciate that thank you very much guys stay safe stay close don't miss out the test drive with the same car love you all and I see you soon in the next one bye guys